Excellency Antiphon, all sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth, in his presence are majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome and uh, let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrary heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our action according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times, you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after a, just a brief moment, he who is to come shall come. He shall not delay, but my just one shall live by faith. And if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he fall, he does not lie prostrate, for the land of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. 
the salvation of the Lord comes from the just. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as of a man worth to scatter the seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields its fruit. First, the blade, then the year, then the full grain in the year. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickles at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? Or what, what parable can we use for it? It is like a master seed that when it's sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. But once it's sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plant, and put forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I still remember when I was in grade school, one of the parables we learned is about uh, pulling the wheat uh, to help grow. And uh, a man who goes to the field every day after he planted the seeds, and when it springs up and grow, and he go there, observe every day, and seeing that uh, the plant actually does not grow every day. So he decided to pull up the wheat, and so in order to help it grow. And of course, the next day he went out, and to see, and uh, all the plant died. So that's uh, the parable that we learn in a very young age. And so the parable teaches us that it is, uh, we have to give it, give it patience yeah, to let uh, the plant grow itself, and eventually they will grow. And we obviously cannot see it uh, from our eyes, uh, but uh, it's growing. I think that can apply to our spiritual life too. And sometimes we need, we want to uh, God take immediate action uh, whenever we pray or whenever uh, that happens in our life. And uh, we want God to act immediately. And sometimes we blame God, why not? Why? Uh, why not now? Uh, why? <coughs> why don't you take action? and in the world, but God has his own time. And we know also our faith tells us we have to really trust in the Lord and no matter what. So yesterday I was reading uh, Genesis, uh, St. Joseph, uh, Joseph's uh, story, and we know Joseph was sold to Egypt. And uh, it was a uh, really, he, uh, he uh, was sold by his uh, brother. It was a disaster for him, a disaster for his father. But Joseph 
have such faith in God. He always trusts in God when his brothers came to meet him and uh, they were afraid uh, because he revealed himself that uh, it was him who uh, was sold to Egypt by his brothers. And when Joseph revealed his identity, his brothers were really fearful uh, and they thought he could take vengeance against them. But Joseph said, uh, see that uh, you sold me, it's not your action, actually this is God's planning. And even it's a disaster for me and uh, for uh, our father, but uh, it is God uh, doing things. Uh, he had prepared this moment. And when you can, can come uh, to buy grain and to continue to thrive in this famine. So he was so uh, generous and so merciful to his uh, brothers. And also he, he knew that whatever happened to him, it's a God plan. So sometimes uh, we really blame and we, we have a short sight and we do not uh, really trust in God much. And uh, we oftentimes ask God uh, whenever we have uh, trouble and we want, want God to resolve. But uh, you know, God can turn bad things uh, into good and God can write a um, stride uh, with crooked lines. So that's why we have to continue trusting God, uh, especially give God time. Uh, Look at the world, there's so much violence, war, and hatred going on. And sometimes we say, God, why don't you take action immediately? But God has his own way, and God uh, eventually brings salvation uh, to everybody, give people a chance to repent in time. So that's uh, our God, uh, no matter what, and uh, today we gather together, yeah, maybe we are, uh, have some troubles or we worry the things, but uh, let God take action. Uh, we continue trusting God, and God will eventually uh, bring us salvation and peace to each of us. And uh, again, Jesus compared the kingdom of God to the mustard seeds. A mustard seeds is very small, but when it's grow, of course, uh, God make it grow, provide sun and water and nutrition to the master seed. Then when it grow, become the largest of the plants, and even the birds can come and dwell in its shade. So that's uh, God's doing, and especially we shall not neglect or uh, neglect the uh, small things. Uh, that are planted in our heart and the seeds of faith, you know, uh, let it grow, and especially through our word and through our action and thoughts. Those uh, may be considered as small, but the small things can really become big in God's field. So let us come to the Lord and offer ourselves, offer our prayer, and uh, with what we do here, a small congregation. Uh, but uh, every morning we gather here uh, to praise the Lord and to offer our prayers and sacrifices to the Lord. It will grow, uh, especially. We shall not uh, really uh, look down upon what we do every day in our prayer and uh, only in prayer, uh, then the kingdom of God can grow. So let us uh, continue of our prayer for the world and for people uh, we love and especially for those people who are in need of conversion. And we give time in our prayer uh, for God's salvation to bring upon them. We are all sinners, we all need forgiveness. We need to know that God is our stronghold. 
that our refuge is in him, that he will cleanse us from our sins. And now we know, too, that the effort to do his will and grow towards him needs a lot of patience, perseverance, endurance, like the growth of a large tree from a tiny seed. That the church all over the world may grow into a true communion of all God's people, accepting mistakes and failures, and look forward with faith and confidence to the future. Let us pray to the Lord. For the congregation present here today, that despite the sins and sinfulness of our life, we may pre persevere in our journey of faith towards God. Let us pray to the Lord. For our political and civil leaders, that they may not abuse their position of trust for personal or political gain, let us pray to the Lord. For those crushed by an overwhelming sense of their own sinfulness that they may experience in their life, the loving mercy of our Savior, let us pray to the Lord. For those who experience physical and mental suffering at this time, that their pain may unite them with the suffering of Christ on Calvary. Let us pray to the Lord. And we remember all those people who are sick and uh, those uh, who recommended it into our prayer. May God's mercy, healing be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Today, we especially pray for Evelyn Rao, Vanilanda uh, Rauter, and also pray for Francisco Lau. For all of them, let us pray to the Lord. Now in silence our heart, we offer our own personal prayers. For all the prayers held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. God our Father, metaphor of your goodness, we place our prayer before you. Grant us all we need today to live our lives in the shadow of your presence. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine we call him in hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all sins, whom you sent as our Savior, Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore, by the same Spirit, graciously make, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and during this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and with St. Joseph and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, the Salvatore our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion or mercy for Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope, enjoy forever, the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. And Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that are receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. A message ended. Go in peace. You all have a blessed day.